PGA Professional Championship began in 1968, designed to provide additional playing opportunities for PGA professionals who help teach and grow the game every day. And after more than three decades, this has become their showcase event. There's a lot on the line for the field of 312 players who have advanced from the 41 PGA section championships along with eligible past champions. What specifically is on the line? Well, how about the Walter Hagen Cup, several exemptions, and most notably, the low 20 finishers will earn an invite to the 100th playing of the PGA Championship in August at Belle Reve Country Club. It all comes down to this. Final round drama from the Bayonet course in Monterey Bay as the magic number to get into the PGA Championship hovered around plus three. Marty Jertsen, he was plus four with three holes to play, but he birdied the 16th. This is the 17th hole, a tee shot, and this is clutch. Playing the slope and would make the putt for another birdie. Then on to the 18th hole, he'd have this eagle putt and coming from off the green up onto the green and that is so close but three closing birdies to finish with a 68 is all he would need to qualify for the pga championship for the third time same with brian smock 18th hole he was right on the bubble but at plus three this eagle putt removes any doubt that he'll be at bell reeve in august some other PGA pros headed to Bell Reef. How about David Muddit on 18? He was already inside the top 20. But why not finish in style? Just gets it in the edge of the cup there. That qualifies him for his fourth PGA championship. Johan Koch also headed to his fourth PGA championship. Just played great golf all week long. Rich Barbarian Jr., the 2016 PGA professional champion, just needed a two putt on 18, and that's close enough for a tap in. So, Barbarian is back in. You'll see him at Bell Reef. For a little bit of late drama, Michael Block on 18 needs this to get into a playoff. How about a pressure putt for you? Gets it in. His wife loves it. His son's on the bag. Well done, Michael Block. Meanwhile, Ryan Vermeer from Happy Hollow Club in Omaha, Nebraska. Finishes up on the 18th hole. He stumbled a little on the front nine, but rebounded to finish with a bogey 333 on the backside, and he captures the Walter Hagen Cup and is the 51st PGA Professional Champion. So Vermeer wins the 51st PGA Professional Championship, but there's still plenty of business to settle as nine players head into the playoff for the final five spots into the PGA Championship. And on the very first playoff hole, this is Sean Warren, Sinking a birdie putt, and that clinches one of the five spots for Warren. He's headed to his first PGA Championship. Now seven other players would par to advance to the second playoff hole for four spots, and it would get whittled down to six players for the four spots on the second playoff hole. On the third playoff hole, here on the par five, 18th hole, it's Omar Uresti with his second shot, and watch how close it is. It just barely clears the bunker but then lands soft and that leaves Uresti on the green with an eagle opportunity and this one is tracking it's tracking it's tracking and it just misses but the birdie would be enough to get him back into the PGA championship so all smiles for Omar Uresti Michael Block doesn't quite get his eagle to drop either, but he gets the birdie of his own. That would be enough for Michael Block and his caddy and son, Dylan. He earns his third trip to the PGA Championship, and there's his son, Dylan. Congratulations to Michael Block and Dylan. As well as Craig Bowden, who gets his first trip to the PGA, knocking that one in. So... Some of the field getting whittled down. We go to the fourth playoff hole. The sun's starting to drop. Brian Carroll was eliminated on the fourth playoff hole, and so it came down to Brian Norman against Danny Balin for the final spot. Now onto the fifth playoff hole. It's Balin a foot away for par. Norman needed this to drop for his par, and that's clutch. So they move on on the sixth playoff hole. With Norman a foot away for par, it was Balin's turn, and look at the ice in his veins, getting it done to extend the playoff. So we go to a seventh playoff hole. Norman now off the tee, 
with the low light visibility, misses his tee shot off the fairway. Now you're not gonna see this one land, and the reason you're not gonna see this one land is because it didn't land. It was in the trees, and there's a five minute allotment players are allowed to search for the ball, so everybody looking all around, they couldn't find it on the ground, and in the end, he had to go back and re-tee. This is Norman's third shot, and frankly, that would be the difference as Balin was able to get home and secure the final spot into the PGA Championship with a battle with a week with some great golf by the men and women who grow this great game every day. And congratulations to the 20 of them we'll see at Belle Reve in August.